What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Uh, book entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. Also, PayPal, Cash App, and all that other stuff. Now, let's get to this video. The video is entitled Put Your Kid Back in School or Keep Your Kids at Home. So, uh, I was having a conversation uh, with my son about this yesterday where he wants to play sports and he's a freshman. And his mother wants him to stay uh, at home. Now, he doesn't want to be an athlete per se. He actually wants to be an engineer. But he does want to play sports. So I was telling him that, listen, when it comes to that, you, if you don't go to school and you don't play sports the first year, it could snowball until you don't play sports while you're in high school. And he was like, you know, he's thrown off by that. And I'm like, I'm just telling you because, you know, if that's what you still have to, you know, do the workouts, learn the system, blah, 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 blah. And you might not want to try to do all that catching up with people. But so if you want to do sports, it's, it's more of a self-motivated thing. Now, the staying at home, you know, and learning is the other thing. Well, at the end of uh, last school year, you know, it was his introduction to college type of environment where you know they just send you the, the, the work you got to get it done and send it back and at first he was like you know oh man I get to be home and then he was like they don't stop sending stuff and I'm like <laughs> and I'm laughing I'm saying well if you actually want to um, be an engineer this is going to be some of the type of uh, things that happen to you when you're in college. So, a bit of a crossroads, right? Depending on what your kids' uh, dreams and aspirations are, it depends on what they should do. You know, do you want, because I'm not going to be surprised that, you know, if somebody plays sports, some kid will give another kid the coronavirus. I'm not you know, some coach will play a kid knowing they got the coronavirus because um, they want to win, right? They play stupid about it. They say they didn't know, you know, because these kids are in high school. You know, maybe even college they'll pull that stunt, depending on, you know, how good the people are. And then people think about socializing and this, that, and the third. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a mixed bag because on socializing, you got people who want to socialize and be with their friends, and you got people who don't like to socialize because they get picked on. They probably are going to be the people that need to, what is up with y'all always messaging me like this right now, <laughs> you know, that, that need the most interaction. You know, because they're going to have to deal with people that they don't like, that don't like them in the real world. People who want to play clicks, they probably are going to need the least amount of interaction because they're going to have to learn how to uh, um, stand on their own two feet. Because a lot of times when people socialize and getting clicks and stuff, you know, they come together as a team, but sometimes you get strong teams with weak individuals. So I think it's a way to balance it out. So for me, you know, if my son wants to actually play sports, I'm like, you have to go back to school. Um, but if he wants to just get his academics right, you can stay home. And it's a benefit in staying home because if you can get, if you are there and you're more hands-on, you can get your kid ahead of schedule. And because, you know, depending on the year of high school that they're in, you can also get them college courses and college classes online too. So by the time they get to um, to to college age, they might, you know, possibly have a year, two years under their belt already because of the, the, the scheduling. I'm not going to say, you know, this at-home thing is going to be the the, um, over, the the new norm because I don't think it will be. But I think this year adds it into the, the mix to be a norm for 
uh, students in the future. So, you know, this is where it's going, in my opinion. Because some of these kids are going to graduate um, in general, and they're going to be going to college online. And, you know, Xing out the state fees. I think that's very much so, you know, I mean, undergrad, not, you know, postgrad. You know, I think that's going to be a new norm. You know, you don't, you, these people could have, colleges can have infinite paying possibilities when you're having people online. Some of these teachers might be overwhelmed or maybe not because they just put out their syllabus that is and they just blast email what you need to do, blah, blah, blah. So, that's on that end of the spectrum. Uh, one of the other things that, that this, you know, as far as the athletics part, this is going to put a monkey, uh, throw a monkey wrench in the payment system. You see, a lot of uh, high school and college kids pay a lot of adults bills, you know, ticket sales, uh, you know, apparel. Um, sometimes even, you know, depending on how good the teams is, advertisements. So the schools make money and it trickles down to the coaches. That's why you have, co you know, high school coaches making six figures. It just depends on the program you're coaching for. Or depends on the state that you're in. And if it's a football state like, you know, like Texas, California, Florida, they're going to get paid. Coach is going to get paid. Football, you know, reigns supreme. You know, it's like that. So this throws, like I said, a big monkey wrench in that. So I wouldn't be surprised if people um, start, like, kind of AAU side uh, leagues to supplement even high school. You know, you already have AAU um, basketball and baseball. I'm not going to be surprised if there's AAU football. I know track, it depends on the state, you could do that in a sense. So, should you send this kid to school? It might, you know, for, for some of you kids that may be a late bloomer, it might be a reason to go to school because you might have other players that are better than you that get um, high recognition and you that might not wind up playing. You know, they might, you know, get put in a different type of situation and it gives you playing time and more practice time and you can get better for, for the parents out there. You know, now, the other thing about this is if you got kids with siblings, right? This is a situation where some people are going to be using their older kids to watch their younger kids. This is also a situation where some parents are going to not be any, the, the kids are going to, learn firsthand that their parents either are or of a great help to them with their studies and their education or they're no help to them because you know you, you hear parents now like man I don't I don't know them, these subjects I can't help this kid this kid need to go back to school so some of these kids are going to actually go back to school because parents can't help them academically and some parents are just going to throw their kids back in school because they're tired of their kids being in the house they're not necessarily caring about the health aspect, you know, so should you, you know, put your kid in school, should you not put your kid in school, you know, that's the thing, you know, and, and not to mention, um, some, some people might save on uh, daycare or after school care, depending on the age of the kid, because, you know, they're at home now, you might be able to get a family member or a friend to watch this kid if they're at home now. The difference, the, the, the question about that is, is this a trustworthy family member or friend watching these little kids? Because I talked about this prior that, you know, child abuse looks like it's on a down, but people assume it's on an up because, you know, there's no schools allowed around to report it. So you're gonna have that other thing in the mix also where, you know, some abused kids might not go to school because they're too abused. You know, you still hiding it and they wind up being stuck at home and it gets worse. Or you have kids that wind up going to school and they wind up spilling the beans about the summer and the abuse that they went through and then you go through that whole thing. So it's going to be a tricky situation about putting your kids either 
take putting your kid back in school or keeping them at home because these are the groups of kids that's going to interact. And you know, and some of the teachers don't want to. Some of the teachers, a lot of teachers got kids, and they they may or may not want their kids in school. And they may or may not want to deal with your kids after this situation because they feel like their family is more important. So, I think this is going to be a tricky thing in a, in a in a very near future. So, you know, tell me what you think. Peace.